Do you want to do transformative work for a living? Working directly on pressing world issues? Do you want to create the next economy based on open collaboration, which leaves nobody behind? We have created a program that enables you to do exactly this. We're pleased to announce our first ever six-month apprenticeship, the OSE Apprenticeship for Enterprise, starting July the 1st, 2021. You will study with me directly and you will master a number of collaborative design and build skills and get a chance to collaborate with open source ecology full time when you finish the program. Over the last decade, we designed and built dozens of open source industrial machines and published the plans on the internet for free. We taught hundreds of student collaborators to build themselves and we also innovated on distributed enterprise models. We published several product releases such as the compressed earth block press, the 3D printer, and most recently, the CD Home. Our apprenticeship allows you to dive right in, learn all that we have learned, and move this work forward. The six-month program builds around the Seed Eco Home as a revenue stream. We've learned how to build effectively with swarm builds, which allows us to build a house with 24 people in just five days. Our goal is to train entrepreneurial partners to collaborate with OSC. First, we want to solve housing. How? With an affordable, ecological, incremental, digital housing 2.0, low-cost house that can be built either DIY or by professionals in the most efficient, ecological, quality, cost-effective way possible with open source. The current cost is $50,000 in materials for a 1,000 square foot home. We're starting with light frame construction this year and moving to compressed earth block in 2022. The CDCO home includes developing supporting machines, such as the tractor and brick press, and larger 3D printers for construction materials printed from waste plastic, and an industrial grade sawmill, all open source. The work also includes innovating on social enterprise models and organizing large-scale collaborative development events. In the six months, you will gain mastery in basics of open source collaborative design and build and have a chance to learn management and enterprise skills. We are building upon our modular construction set approach with open source part libraries and design guides. You see, prototyping should not take months or years. It takes only as much time as determined by the prior art that is available. That's the beauty of open source, not reinventing the wheel as the information is open. So we can start exactly at the frontier of human knowledge. Unfortunately, that's quite rare in today's world of proprietary design, but our goal is to change this with you taking an active role in this. As such, we work on economically significant products, the houses, tractors, 3D printers, production machines, and much more. And in order to engage in this fully, you'll need to learn some basic skills in computer-aided design, wikis, crowd-editable docs, rapid prototyping with 3D printing and CNC torch table, calculations, microcontrollers, basic skills of collaborative literacy that allow you to find and organize all work on our wiki in a matter of seconds while involving global teams in a large-scale collaborative process and using entirely open source and accessible tool chains so anyone can participate. The biggest learning is a mind shift to a completely collaborative approach. Open collaborative means open source licenses, working openly by logging work, using wikis and cloud editable docs, involving outside audiences throughout, using crowdfunding and organizing reward-based incentive challenges and hackathons. It takes a specific skill set, and more so, a different mindset to actually do this right in a way that allows the open source economics to emerge, producing revenue models that are not based on artificial scarcity and exclusion. That is the yet undelivered promise of open hardware. It takes a psychological shift to recognize we are not alone, we're all on this planet together. Our mission is collaborative design for a transparent and inclusive economy of abundance. In our program, the day-to-day -day is design training, where you learn about all types of functional building blocks, like Legos, that constitute all known technology. 
Then we follow with a couple of hours of practice in creating new designs in CAD based on part libraries and the design training. And then we have about four hours of builds each day, whether it's the house modules, machines, or others. On Friday, we work on site infrastructure and upgrades, such as a new solar-powered workshop, building more classrooms, aquaponic greenhouses, more microhouses, biodigester for on-site wastewater recycling, access roads, more building tools and more machines, doing tree plantings, all using our open source equipment that we'll either build or have built already. Effectively, you're learning how to build an open source global village. Saturdays are global collaboration, collaboration days dedicated to video production, documentation, creating rapid learning materials, developing collaborative protocols, designing incentive challenges, organizing hackathons, and other tasks all combining to involve the whole world in this world-changing work. The key to involving others is understanding work breakdown structures across multiple disciplines so we can divide complicated tasks into bite-sized chunks using the principle of modular breakdown. The internet makes this possible. In the evenings, we do an enterprise development seminar at least twice a week where we collaborate on open source business development, including marketing and philosophy, using Socratic dialogue and following the paradigm of distributive enterprise, meaning we develop enterprise models and publish them on the internet for free for anyone to get involved. We will create things like marketing copy, product, product websites, brochures, economic analyses, enterprise organizational structures, recruiting strategies, and all other assets that help us and the world get set in production and enterprise. But before that, we always ask the why. Why are we doing it? Does it really help? Does it have purpose? Does it give life? The larger idea here is that economics, which by the way originally means housekeeping or making a living, should only be a small part of one's activity, and a majority should focus on one's true passions and interests towards cultural and scientific progress and the things that make us all human. Yet we live in a world quite the opposite, where very few of us get to follow their dreams. And that's a fundamental bug in our operating system. That should be fixed. So we think and act on making life and enterprise easier for everyone so we can all thrive with amazing modern technology and pursue our true interests of self-determination. In the apprenticeship, there's also a bonus. Because the Summer of Extreme Design Build, or Summer X, is also happening September 1 through December, the OSC apprentices also get to participate in parts related to the CDECA home. See the Summer X program for the description. Now, we will be learning quite a bit in a rather short time. How? The secret sauce, naturally, is open source, working openly, spending zero time on competitive waste, teaching and learning from each other, all of us, with a process based on collaborative, modular, open source design, part libraries as building blocks, global feedback, swarm builds, altogether just unbridled collaboration. One of our breakthroughs has been reducing prototyping cycles from months to days using modular building blocks like Legos. We're learning constantly how to work more effectively with remote collaborators or working with a crowd. We don't have to do it alone. And while we are at it, we end up faster, better, stronger, where the rate of progress depends simply upon available prior art. This is a concept whose potential I believe very few people truly understand. We are more ambitious and optimistic about this potential than ever. It's obvious to us that open source hardware will simply eclipse in terms of impact that which has already happened with open source software. Our goal for OSC is the open source economy created by 2035, reaching what we call the collaborative singularity the point in human history where we actually learn to cooperate. This, to us, is an inevitable part of human evolution. Otherwise, we just may destroy ourselves. This is what society needs to learn in order to survive. I don't think it's optional. 
The six-month apprenticeship may not be easy for some as it requires the psychological growth to embody the full value of open, ceasing to work solo and to participate in the collaborative creation of genius. Edison said that genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. And that's how it works at OSE. It's hard work. Except if you learn to leverage the crowds and they contribute openly, then we have the potential of genius squared. And we have fun at it, but it will be that 99% inspiration up to the point that we up our skill set until we know how to work openly with others. Then we can do anything. The concepts and ideas are easy. It's easy to talk about collaboration. Everyone says they do it. But in reality, not common. I look forward to the day that patents become obsolete. We're not there yet. Sharing openly can be quite threatening. Imagine a company like Intel opening up its computer chips. Not happening. Yet. But the possibility remains to do collaborative wonders and raise the level of humanity to a new plane. For the apprenticeship, we're looking for super cooperators interested in a diverse generalist skill set. We all teach each other. We pull together, developing the next economy and co-creating because we have great proofs of concept of what's possible. And now it'll be that 99% perspiration together. We have a long way to go. That's why we want to coordinate and pull together. But think about it. Development has to be documented only once if we're not reinventing the wheel. So the critical mind shift is understanding and practicing this simple point. If you think that you can do better on your own and not push new developments back into the commons, then our culture may not be a good fit. We're looking for people who want to change the world by learning the obvious, though hard in practice, skills to collaborate. The program is designed to train autonomous entrepreneurs to collaborate on pressing world issues, not what simply pays. Nobody will fund the revolution. That's against the rules of the current system. So we bootstrap our way. Out of the program, you learn to build the full seed eco home. You have a chance to focus on building machines or the management and executive tracks. Our goal is to create possibilities and to provide opportunities for anyone interested, regardless of their history. The baseline of learning is a design builder coming out of the six month immersion, a person who builds, but also understands the design sufficiently to start making meaningful improvements. With the hundreds of hours spent in CAD practice throughout the program, we expect graduates to be fully capable of making design changes and producing documentation such as build instructionals or build details for building packages su submitted to building departments. Our advancement opportunity starts with a design build, moves on to managing crews, and moves on to the executive level, or actually organizing the build and crowd development events. And the last rung is open source movement entrepreneurship. What is that? Well, that is more for the multi-year medium term. That's about people who start other allied enterprises based on OSE methods. The concept is starting OSE inspired campuses worldwide, serving as world heritage sites of cultural and economic transformation. A movement entrepreneur is someone who believes that the world does indeed need changing and has the courage and skill to collaborate openly and engage fully to do this. By changing the rules of the game. Hmm, wish I learned that in college. There's a twist here too. OSE's goal is to train entrepreneurs, not to create employees. Those are two different things. The goal is the people, the people who, who we train work with OSC as opposed to not work for OSC. We're interested in creating OSC campuses worldwide, highly coordinated but autonomous, partnering with OSC International and a much larger goal than any branch can do alone. Perhaps a good way to describe this is an, like an open source franchise with a twist from a regular endeavor like this that everything is open, the know-how, and, and it's collaboratively developed. Anyone can download all of our information for free. But we provide the immersion training to those who want to learn significantly faster than they would ever on their own. So there it is. Here's an opportunity for you to transform your index of possibilities 
pursue full meaning, grow your skill set in more ways than you probably imagined, meet amazing people from all over the world, and change the world while leaving nobody behind. And having fun, fun while doing it by team collaboration. There was a dream that was open source hardware. It shall be realized. Join us. We're accepting up to 24 apprentices for the first cohort starting July the 1st, but then also accepting new entrants on a rolling basis. We have a generous scholarship program up to full tuition, so if you're really in need, it's affordable for you to join us. Our training is interclass, multicultural, global audience, and relevant to the third world and fourth worlds, especially. We encourage young women, young women and men of any age to apply. Special invitation goes to the women, like my partner Katarina, who descended from Brooklyn to the middle of nowhere, Missouri, and now can design and build like a pro. To apply, send us a video of interest as the first step. Tell us three things, who you are, second, why are you interested in this six month program? And third, how this would contribute to your life's goals. We'll respond quickly and continue with an interview. See you July the 1st at the gates of Factory Farm. Thanks for listening and please pass this on to your friends.